Hey everybody, it is Monday the 15th of July. This is the weekly vlog. There wasn't one last week because my brother's here and we were with him for part of the week. He did decide to go and get cold though. It's not his fault. Um, so it's not a lot happening at the moment. My camera's been playing up this morning. It didn't want to... I said there was a problem with the lens, the focusing error, which is what happened before when it went knackered. So uh, I'm going to be filming on here, but if it goes wrong, I will just put it all onto my laptop and then carry on with the vlog on my mobile phone. It's not a major issue. I'm not getting this one fixed again. If it goes again, it's gone. I'm not wasting any more money on it. Anyway, so I'm currently reading a book called The Thirteenth Girl, which was a book I got off of NetGalley a couple of years ago. I'm so far behind with my NetGalley. It's unreal. So I'm going to try and get some of the reviews in. I have read some of them. I just haven't put the reviews onto NetGalley. It's not good, is it? I'm trying to do that before I read anything else that's on my Kindle, so there's still a few to go, but not many. I've done them with most of them. Um, what else? I'm on 98 of 170 books for the year. Pretty good going. I know I'm going to break it. Considering I'm reading War and Peace and I've broken 800 pages. Actually, I'm nearly on 900 now. Only 10 pages to go. Um, but I, I couldn't sleep last night and I actually finished another book called, funny enough, Sleep. Um, I'm going to have some lunch now and then I'm going to go upstairs and do some bits and I'll see you up there. Okay, um, it's evening and I'll put some videos up on my channel. Um, you'll be seeing them before you see this one because you'll be seeing this next weekend. Uh, so what am I reading? So I'm still reading One Piece, obviously. And I'm on page... Oh, bang, bang, bang. 894. So I'm getting through it. I'm quite glad, glad about that. I'm going to read a bit in a minute. And I've I've just started It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. And, and she's a bit of a marmite. People either love her or hate her. I'm not sure at the moment. I've enjoyed the ones I've read. but I, I know this is about DV. And what gets me is this girl hated her father because he beat her mother up. Yet she lets her boyfriend do the same from what I gather. So I'm like, I know about history repeating itself. But no. Why would you? And I'm also reading, oh, this is nice and floppy, look at that. Yeah, The Berlin Girl by Philippa Gregory. And I'm, I'm read a few pages, I'm getting through it. I have got one on my Kindle, which is a uh, NetGalley one I had two years ago, which I haven't actually reviewed yet. I've got reviews written for most of them. I just got to put them up. Um, I did ask for a NetGalley one. And I did get it. It was given to me. It's not out until 2025, though, so I've got plenty of time to read that one. Uh, so I'm still going to work through the net galleys I've got and try and uh, get them up. Tomorrow's going to be a weird day because somebody's coming to potentially take uh, Dad's greenhouse away. Uh, my brother's been really pushy about it and about stuff. And I, I just don't want to see him. It makes me feel like he's trying to raise that Dad ever existed. I know he's not. But that's how it feels. So I'm going to go and sort that out because it would be nice to have a little six seating area for mum to sit out there. But she won't. I'll probably just go out there. <laughs> and uh, I won't stay down there as long as I would normally, but I will stay down there for a bit. If they take it away, great, that'll help. But, but at the moment it's as he left it and I, I, I don't like things changing. I know we've got to let him go, but I can't. Anyway, I'm going to read for a bit, play a game on my phone, and I'll see you tomorrow. When it's Tuesday, don't sorry, excuse me, I'm out of breath, I'm absolutely shattered. I really did not sleep well again last night. I don't know what's wrong with me. Um, right. <laughs> yeah, so I've been down at Mum's since I'm in bed, nine o'clock. Because somebody said they were going to come and take down grad, down dad, Dad's uh, greenhouse to eat with them. They didn't show up because they forgot they had something else on, but they didn't bother to tell me. Anyway, my brother came and he started taking a partner and helping him with that for a bit. And um, she said she'd come at half eleven and she didn't. And she's, so I messaged her again. I said, look, if my brother's there. He's taking it apart. If you want to come and get it, it's great. If you don't want it, that's fine. We'll just take it to the tip tomorrow as we're going to do a tip run tomorrow. Um, as Richard's going to be there to around four o'clock, bless him. Strimming the grass, cutting back all the raspberries, cut, digging out the beds. <laughs> Once he finds the spade, which I think is hidden in amongst the raspberries, which have just grown madly. Um, 
because I'm slept, I'm absolutely shattered. So I'm gonna get my hair down for an hour and a half before I go and get Jennifer from school. Oh, I'll be so glad when I can have a lie in Thursday because <laughs> there's no school. But saying that, uh, me and Richard will be doing more stuff for the garden around the house. I'll probably tip run. Uh, something else we were going to do. Can't remember what it was. We we're going to go somewhere. Maybe the garden centre. I can't remember. And Claire was going to come down and play with Jennifer because I said, well, we can always go up to the tip. Um, and leave Jennifer with Claire because Jennifer loves Claire and Claire loves Jennifer so and they can't and she can't wait to see her so that's fine but we need our holiday now I think it's what we need so but I have done something really stupid again I bought another box of books off of eBay this time it's 40 books I've no idea what's in it might be a load of rubbish well might not it might be something I don't like and I'll donate them to charity shop something um, and they were like they had them off for $16.99 free shipping and I was just watching it then they sent me an offer £12.74 with free shipping that means I'm getting 40 books for £12.94 or 74 or whatever it was now if you take off say £3 for shipping that's 9 quid 40 books for 9 quid I, I can't pass that up I'm going to find somewhere to put them and I will but right now I'm going to sleep. So I know it's the middle of the day, I've had my lunch, but I cannot keep my eyes open. I literally feel wrecked, completely wrecked. So I will, yes, I've got nothing on. If I was wearing a dirty t shirt, because then I'd be doing something mucky in the garden. Uh, I'm going to sleep. I'll see you later. It is actually Thursday. If you're wondering what happened to the rest of the week, it's because I've put my camera somewhere and couldn't find it. Do you know what? Do you want me to put it in the handbag? I am an idiot. So. I've only got 400 pages left of War and Peace. Here's Jennifer. And it is lunch to us, coming up to 12 o'clock. And if you wonder why she's not at school, it's because her school's broken up for the holiday, which is great news. Now, we're at Mum and Mum's house now. Uh, I always call it Mum and Dad, always will, um, because my brother Richard is sorting out the back garden. So, and it is so clear, because of course, don't forget, he had lots of gardening and stuff, because he did a lot of gardening. But look at this. This is great because Jennifer can play on her football here. That's the root of a tree down there. That's why it's got a thing on it. And there was all planters here. And there's all stuff under there. This has still got to be done. As you can see, he has saved some planters so we can plant stuff if we want to. Next up, I think, is to do this. This is the raspberries. <laughs> he has started. We're going to get a little table for here. Some chairs so we can sit out here that's the burner that usually sits on that one there a bird table i might start putting a few bits out for the birds dad stopped um but yeah i might do and that's his up, uh, apple tree and then over there's a pear tree and that has got pears on it so he has uh, he's cleared it out really well the front is a bit different because I want the front left pretty much like it is, just a good tidy up because of his roses. But it looks so much better. So today um, I'm down here because Jennifer's going to play with Auntie Claire. And I'm going to take a lot of stuff to the dump. This is to go out tonight for tomorrow because that's uh, garden waste that will be coming tomorrow. So all the rubbish will be going out tonight. So, yeah looking very tidy and not like when granddad was here it's not as tidy um obviously he's trimmed the grass down which is great i leave the shed there's stuff in it and wow he's done a lot to be fair morning everybody it is friday it's very warm hottest day of the year i think this year so i've even got shorts on which is scary and jennifer doesn't like it So in a minute, we're going to go to McDonald's, aren't we, and get some lunch for a treat, because Daddy is in Cardiff at work. He so, won't know. So he won't know, but it doesn't matter. He doesn't mind. Then we'll go to Nana's, so then we can do some stuff for Nanny. Mummy's been busy all morning. She's put the dishwasher on, emptied the bins, put the washing on. Yes, Mummy's been busy this morning. <coughs> oh dear. Have a drink, Jen. 
Oh, yeah. You alright? Mm -hmm. so I'm going to go to McDonald's, aren't we? I'm going to go to the drive through and take it to Nana's. It'd be nice, wouldn't it? Oh, what a good girl. So, we're going to do that. So, in a minute, I'll show you exactly what he's done at the garden as well. The garden at Mum's at the moment. That's what Richard has done. So, we did all this, cleared all that. I know that's all, a lot of that's weeds, but. Um, so the plan is to get a small wooden table and some chairs with a parasol because mum doesn't like the heat put it up in this section he's going to take the lip out there uh, so she can get in and then he'll bring down he'll move that, that slab dad had his burner on it and what we'll do is we're going to put Jennifer's um paddling from there and then she can paddle so he's next week he's going to come and dig out all this he's going to make me a small patch to have strawberries in and even if he doesn't i can put them in pots um but if we're going to get rid of all that it's going to be a lot more uh manageable to be honest so, if it stays out, the grass won't grow. So, oh, there's a strawberry in there. Look at that. There we are. There we are. <laughs> not quite ripe, but it's not far off. So, yeah, there's some strawberry plants down there. Yeah, sad, but we've got to make it manageable. So, it's hot today. It's that day. The 20th. Come into town, gonna have some lunch. Quite busy today. Let's see how it goes. So as we make back from town, look here's a cat. How is it? She's so cute. So we went in into town just to have a wander around and went into Waterstones just to look at the books and Paul bought books, so I had to have one as well, so I bought this. The House That Horror Built. Sounds interesting. I also got a Marilyn Holdall and wallet, so I'll show you that in a minute. So I'm very excited to be using that very soon. So I'm stroking the cat, but I'm gonna get some tea. We're not having anything major, because we had a big dinner in town, so I'm just gonna make some sandwiches and cook up something for Jen. But it's so hot, it's so muggy. I've got less than 300 pages of War and Peace to go, you know. It would never so well. I will admit, I'm actually enjoying it, so I'm not going to not going to lie. But yeah, I'm just going to crack on, and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to reading this one. Uh, says, yeah. yeah. Anyway, I'll uh, be back in a bit. I thought this was going to play up again. It's all right. So I'm upstairs. I've got the fan on because it's still really hot. But I'm going to do some filming. I'm going to film a flip through of Deborah Miller's 100. Oh, 200 page Book of Mermaids. Let's quick look now. You'll see that on the channel sometime in the week. And this big box of books, 40 books in here, cost me £12.74. After shipping, they probably cost me about £7, I would imagine. If that, for 40 books. So I want to see if there's anything good in there. It won't be a sec. Yeah, um, I've got a nice glass of wine here. My Marilyn, Mer my Marilyn glass. I'm very happy with my Marilyn items. I'll show you what I got earlier. Got a um, holdall and a wallet. The holdall's brilliant because when we go on holiday, Jennifer sometimes gets car sick. So what I can do is I put a couple of changes of clothes for in the holdall, and then and put it on the back seat in the car, or on the top in the boot, and then we don't have to go scragging around looking for clothes for. Because that, once when we went on holiday, she was sick before we even got to Cardiff Gate. So I'm going to film this, and we'll see how it goes. Hey everybody, it is Sunday 21st of July, last day of the week, and it is washing, sorting day, and there's a ton of it, as usual, and another load to put on. Change the sheets, yes, you saw the bedding's lovely, got a new mattress topper on, it feels like sleeping in a marshmallow, and I'm sitting here watching Mr. Barlin while I sort the washing, so a very exciting day for me, but uh, no, it's nice. <sighs> 
So, yeah. so it's not been a very eventful week. I am um, got about 250 pages of War and Peace left. I'm hoping to get really near the end of it tonight. Maybe finish it. You never know. So I'll let you know how I get on. So here's the hold all I got yesterday in town. It's really nice, really big. Got two pockets, one there and a big one there. Got my got a wallet as well. So this is brilliant because Jennifer gets car sick and it's big enough for me to put a couple of changes of clothes in, some wet wipes, etc. In case she's sick. So I've got to change of clothes handy for her. So if we're going anywhere excited, not that we are let. But yeah, so I really like that. So oh and here's my hat. It's my Marilyn Monroe hat. So there's Marilyn on it. It's got Marilyn on the inside. So, yeah, just watching a bit of telly at the moment and relaxing. I'm feeling a bit wet and well, actually, so I might have a lie down in a minute. Right, it is Sunday night. Jennifer's watching on her tablet. I'm going to go to bed. I'm going to try and read as much of this as I can. About 250 pages to go. I want to try and finish it. So I'm going to have a good go at it now. Very tired. It's been very hot and muggy today. Excuse me. So, yeah. Do this and we'll do it all again tomorrow for another week. Yay!